Okay, we'll see this game between Robert James Fisher, Bobby Fisher, versus Julio Bolbochan. Okay, Bolbochan. This is the name. Okay, and uh, this was played in 1962 in Stockholm, where they were playing interzonal. Let's see. Robert Fisher starts with e4. His opponent plays c5, Sicilian defense. Knight f3, d6, d4, c cross d4. So you can see it's the main line open Sicilian. Knight cross d4, knight f6, knight c3, and then a6. So Najidov variation. And here Fisher played h3, okay. Uh, not very famous line. So knight c6, okay. The idea of h3 is simple, uh, control this and not allowing uh, these two pieces to come here. So this you can say as a waiting move, okay, just to see how the opponent is doing. And the Fisher, uh, maybe he didn't want to play the normal line. So here after knight c6, g4. The idea, of course, is to play g5, attack on the king side. Maybe afterwards you can even play uh, with f4, f5, and then uh, you can play on the king side with all the attack with the pawns, and uh, then the rook will be open. The bishops and queen, everything can join afterwards, and you can do long castle. You can get the other rook as well. So here, after g4, uh, black played this knight cross d4. Okay, so black is uh, willing to exchange few pieces. So the attack will be less, you can see. Queen cross d4 and uh, then black played this e5. Attacking the queen, queen has to move. So queen goes on d3, uh, keeping the support to this. Of course, the knight was also giving support, but one more support here. And uh, here... White must have seen that uh, the attack of other pieces are not coming easily on this queen. And that's why queen d3. Bishop e7. Development uh, preparing to do castle. Uh, here bishop e6 was also a very good move, but uh, black played that. Now here g5. There is attack on the knight. Knight has to move. Uh, here knight d7 was played. Then bishop e3, development, controlling some important squares, so opponent cannot go on b6 with the queen at least. Yeah, knight can move, the support is there, but then uh, always you have this tension that uh, you have to keep checking that support is there or uh, is there any other tactic. After bishop e3, knight c5, okay. Uh, this is not so good because you have the chance over here. If you see, there are two attacks on this pawn and how many supports? Only one support. So, if you want, you can even exchange, I mean, capture the pawn and uh, exchange the bishops and you would have got that extra pawn. The only problem you might be thinking about, like, uh, why it would have that uh, open file, G file, and he can attack from that side. So, it's difficult to do short castle after that. But, you would have got that uh, extra pawn, okay? That's the one thing you could have, uh, you know, done. Anyway, so instead of playing bishop cross g5, black played knight c5, which is not so good. After that, queen d2, there was attack on the queen. So either you have to move the queen somewhere or you have to capture. Now, Fisher thought that uh, I don't want to lose my bishop for a knight. So that's why moving the queen is okay. So queen d2, then bishop e6. And now long castle, okay. The king is somehow safe. Not so safe because this uh, file is still open. But uh, better than over here. And uh, this side is already open. So you can't think about, you know, short castle. And that's why long castle is okay. Uh, the good thing uh, for white is like now the rook is already on the open file. And you have attack on this. So there are supports, but if you can increase the attack, you can have uh, more threats on this d5. So it's good. Short castle was played. And uh, the king is safer than this, you can say. Not so safe, but a little bit, you can say, because uh, 
this d file could be open any time soon after like uh, white could capture this and there can be a problem so that's why canceling is okay f3 gave one more support and uh, preparing to maybe uh, you know move the queen on the other side to attack okay like this like this so these are the plans you can attack from this side so f3 giving support and uh, uh, it's looking good now h4 h5 can be possible anytime so rook c8 getting the rook on the open file and on the file where the opponent has the king is a good idea and the moment when he saw white saw this rook is on this file white played king b1 see uh, you have to learn from this especially beginners they don't do this and then after few moves they think that suddenly something happened okay this uh, attack came on this king or the tactics you know happened somewhere because of that king and the rook's position but they don't think that yeah uh, there was a chance that uh, the moment when the opponent plays this they could have just moved the king and they don't do that and then they pay the price big price so they have to learn from these you know good games from the masters games that uh, whenever they have this kind of situation they don't wait for the problems to come. They do something like this before it comes. Okay, so king b1, then knight d7. So you cannot keep it for a long time and then, you know, wait uh, for the opponent to do something about it. So he says, okay, I'll just move this knight here and uh, give support to this as well. There are... Uh, no attacks right now, but anytime, you know, this f4 can come. So, you need some supports. h4 giving support to this and preparing for h4, h5, h6 or g6. After h4, black plate b5. So, now it's like a race. White is trying to attack on the king side. Black is trying to attack on the queen side. So, that's what is happening. And it's looking like white is doing better at least right now. So let's see. So bishop h3. Okay, this is a good bishop. Uh, this bishop was not that good. So white thought, okay, let's exchange the bishops. And uh, black capture. Okay, black is also happy to exchange more pieces. He is ready to exchange pieces. But uh, if you see after bishop cross h3, white uh, must be more happy because uh, his bishop was not doing that much anyway. So rook cross h3, then knight b6, idea to get the knight ahead on this side and you know, attack on these two pieces. Uh, it's a dangerous threat. Uh, white ha has to either capture this right now or move the queen somewhere. So this should not come as a threat. Yes, white captured. Uh, bishop captured, bishop cross b6. So then queen cross b6. And now knight d5. So... After exchanging two pieces, what did White achieve here? He has achieved a better, you know, end game possibilities right now. Because if you see, um, there are less pieces on the board. So the end game is just, you can say, uh, starting or it will start soon. So the knight, good knight versus bad bishop, you can say. Okay, why bad bishop? Because it's blocked by his own pawns. So you have to be careful. And uh, here, after knight d5, uh, black played queen d8. Okay, black goes back. He saved the queen. And then f4, uh, just attacking this or uh, preparing for f5 and f6. So you cannot allow him to go f5, f6. And that's why e cross f4. And then queen cross f4, queen d7. Okay, the idea is to stopping this, but he can still play that and that's what he did. Uh, he had attacked this also. So, white says no. You have to exchange and white uh, has a trick as well. Okay, there is a tactic. If you capture this, you know, uh, what black, white can do, if black captures this, white can do something like this. You will get this free piece. Check. Knight cross e7, check king h8 and then knight cross f5 or even pawn cross uh, this queen. 
So this is not good for black and that's why he can't take it or he can't take that piece right now. So what to do? Rook C D8. Uh, black has decided, okay, I'll not give support, I mean, uh, to this bishop by moving the queen somewhere like here. You can't move here anyway because of this. But the queen could go somewhere here, but he doesn't want to do that. He thought, yes, uh, if he captured, then I have support. And after that, I'll keep the support to that bishop. So there is no problem. Otherwise, the threat was to capture the queen and then take this. Or if the queen goes anywhere else, then there was a problem over here on each other. So, rook a3 now. Okay. Rook a3, the idea you can see, there is a weakness here, no support to this pawn. So, white made attack. Queen a7 gave support. Now the pawn is pinned, you can say. After that, rook c3. So he moved the rook and now the threat is this. Rook c7 attacking on both the things and he can get the queen afterwards. You can't take the uh, rook with this because knight's support is there. So you have to be careful now. g6 was played attacking the queen. Queen is in trouble. What to do? Move the queen. Queen g4. This is a better square, he thought. And yes, it is correct. Queen d7. Now, finally, black decided, okay, let's exchange again. Uh, we cannot just uh, keep moving the queens here, there. And if you see, white queen is a little bit uh, more dangerous than blacks. Or you can say, yeah, much more dangerous than black. Because uh, uh, you cannot attack only with the queen. But uh, this queen can do something for sure. As this file can be open anytime. And then the queen can attack from this side. So, uh, yes, you have to exchange. And white says, no, I don't want to exchange. You get the queen on the board. And then queen e6. So, the idea is to just keep the queen on better and better square. So, he has attack on this. Of course, support is there. Uh, after this, queen e6. Now, yeah, there was a threat. Uh, this rook c7 was also coming. And that's why also... He said, no, I don't want to keep the queen there. So, rook c7, yes. Now also, white said, yes, I'm going to come anyway. Rook c7 attacking on this uh, bishop, which is on e7. There are two attacks, one support. You have to do something to save it. And uh, he played rook d8, gave support to this. Uh, knight f4 attacking this queen by the knight. The queen has to move again. And the queen moved here. Queen e5, one more piece coming forward and attacking the queen. Now the queen has to move either g7 or h8. If you go to e6, there is attack. If you go anywhere else, there are attacks. So queen h8 was played. And then a3, uh, stopping this, making space for the king as well. h6, okay, the queen has very less squares to move. So he thought I should make space. I should do something on the other side. So h6, g cross h6, and then queen cross h6. And here h5. So now white has decided to open everything on this side, king side, so that he can attack with the queen and the rooks. After h5, bishop g5. Double attack to this knight. So the knight is in trouble, but uh, Fisher decided to sacrifice it because now he has seen something which can be much more dangerous. So h cross g6, very good move. And then f cross g6 was played. But uh, why not this uh, bishop cross f4? Actually, it was okay, not bad. g cross f7 and then rook cross f7. After that, rook cross f7, king cross f7. This bishop is pain and that's why he wanted to do that. Now you have rook f5 and rook h5. These are the good moves. Rook h5 is much more... Uh, better than this because you can't come a rook, queen f6 as a rook f5 will come and pin the queen and if you move it anywhere if you move the queen anywhere else the queen can capture the bishop and it's uh, very good for white but here uh, black has played this f cross uh, g6 the idea is to open the rook and uh, make more attack on this piece which is already pinned knight is attacked what to do queen b3 very good move. Interesting move because the knight has no support now. There are three attacks and no supports. So how are you going to 
uh, take some points of opponent because the opponent is getting three points. So what to do? See, the threat is this. If you take this bishop cross f4, rook h5 is the threat. This covered attack, this covered check. And uh, the king has to move or you have to block the check d5 or rook f5, whatever you will do, there are problems. Rook f7, queen will take it, queen cross f7. You can't do d5, you can take with the queen. And if you just move this, then this is the move, cross h6. And then if you take it, now already white has got extra points and it's very easy to win. So maybe queen h3 and he will easily win after that. So it's okay. Let's see what happened after queen b3. Uh, rook cross f4 was played. Okay. So black captured that knight. What to do? Rook e5 check. The idea is to attack this discovered attack with the queen on the king. The discovered check we call it as. And uh, if you move king f8, uh, white has very good options. What to do here? Here, white played rook cross e8 check. And here only black has resigned because now the checkmate will happen very soon. So king cross e8, suppose if you capture, there are uh, different variations where you can finish the game. Uh, like queen e6 and the queen g8. We'll see queen g8 variation. Queen f8, blocking the check. But then this check, queen e6 check. And here, if you move the king, king d8, then queen d7 checkmate. And if you move anything else like this, then this rook c8 is a checkmate. If you move the queen, then you have the same checkmate. So somehow, white was about to win, Fisher was about to win. So the opponent resigned. Okay, opponent resigned after. Yes, rook cross e8. Uh, here, even if you take with the king, how to finish it? Let's see. Queen e6 check. King can go either here or here. Wherever you go, it's going to be checkmate. This is better. King f8. So queen c8 check. Bishop d8. Queen cross d8 is a checkmate. Right. If you move the bishop here, of course, you can just capture it. And after queen e6 check, king d8, then queen d7 or uh, queen c8 or even rook c8, these are the checkmates.